Y'all that's where I was headed, exactly, yeah. You know, on that first ride, there was an old guy, he was 77 years old. And I remember thinking, back in 1989, Lordy, that's old, I hope I can still ride a horse from that at that age. I'm now 76 and it don't seem so old. <laughs> but um, he was a fourth generation Florida cowman. His family had started in the cattle business about it, sometime between 1820 and 1822, which is right when we became a territory of the United States. One time his family owned a million acres of Florida land uh, for raising cattle. But, uh, and he was a cowman his whole life. I rode next to him as much as I possibly could, and I was just, oh, it was like being in another world listening to this old guy talk. You probably experienced that too. But uh, he was 77 uh, for 10 years. I rode next to him on that cross state ride for six days through across the state of Florida. And uh, he rode that last ride every step of the way, um, and then died about six months later of. Uh, what was it? Stomach cancer, I think he had. Yeah. Uh, but that's what got me started telling these stories. I mean, we used to take our horses into the horse ring here in, uh, during the fair. And I thought, well, I ought to sit on my horse in the horse ring there and tell some of those stories to be told. And that's how I got started. I've <laughs> been doing it ever since. His name was, everybody knew him as Judge Platt. His name was Frank Platt. When he was a baby, somebody said that he saw him as a judge, and the name stuck for his whole life. Everybody knew him as Judge Platt. He, his ranch was up there in Melbourne. And quite a character. Part of the old Florida. And they all, to this day, the old family still use the cur dogs to work their cows. And these, these cur dogs, by the way, are different than your Western and Australian herding dogs. You've seen them herding sheep over in Australia or New Zealand. And, herding cattle here in this country. Uh, all those herding dogs are used to control cattle on the move. The cur dog, and they're called healers because they work primarily behind the cattle. These dogs, the cur dogs, are headers. They work primarily in front of the cow and their instinct is to stop motion of cattle. Now, our landscape is different than Texas and, Texas and other places. In Texas, you can ride out on the, the grasslands and if your cows are three miles away, you can see them. Well, in Florida, they can be 50 feet away and you can't see where your cows are because of our landscape, the actual native landscape of Florida. And most of the big ranches in central and south Florida are on what the ranchers call unimproved pasture, which means native Florida landscape. And as long as they've got the cows on there, it stays native Florida landscape. The non-native vegetation doesn't have a chance to take over because the cattle are on the land. And of course, whenever the state buys one of our ranches to make a park out of it, the first thing you do is remove the cows, and then 10 years later, they're standing around scratching their head trying to figure out why all these non-native plants are taking over. You know. But that's a political comment I shouldn't be making. <laughs> uh, 